Hey guys, what's up? It's Salarator, and I'm here to make another tutorial in Game Maker. I know it's uh, been a long time since I've made one of these tutorials, but you guys have been asking me to make more of these, so I am. So, if you want me to make any other tutorial, just uh, keep asking me, and if you bother me enough, I'll probably do it. Okay, uh, a lot of people have been asking uh, to add the body parts flying off the zombies. So, what I did was... I imported one of the images I made long time ago uh, from my previous zombie game or top-down shooter and import it into this game so go ahead and uh, make your own zombie just it, it uh, can't be just a circle it has to have like arms and stuff I mean I guess you could but that would sort of defeat this whole purpose of this tutorial so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to create a group and I'm just going to name this group uh, I'm just going to name this characters. Hopefully, I'm spelling that right because I'm not a great speller. Okay, as you might have already noticed. Uh, so, I'm just going to drop all my stuff in there and create another group called blocks and just drag all my blocks in here. So, I'm just organizing everything and then. Uh, yeah, just, just to make it easier to work with, rename this to, how about, uh, project tiles, and put our bullets in here. Okay. Next, we want to add another group inside of characters, and call this, uh, zombie parts. Okay, so I'm basically going to go in here copy this image actually you know what go in here take your selection box and just copy a part of the zombies body like his arm and do that create a sprite press edit paste it in there okay and I'm gonna center it and do the same thing with his other arm and his head Okay, like that. So that's his other arm. Oh, I probably should center this. And I'm just going to name this uh, zombie left arm. I think, no, it's his right arm. Okay. That's his right arm and well that's weird I just got like this random spasm in my back and zombie left arm okay and then all we have to do is the head and what we're basically gonna do is make another class or object uh, called jumper is what I like to call them or you can call them particle or whatever you want and it's basically going to be some uh, sprite that spins around and bounces off the walls and stuff. Sort of like our bullet shell object. Okay. And I'll just name this sprite Zom zombie head. Center that. And I think that's good for now. So we have all our zombie parts, our zombie thing. I'm just going to replace our new sprite real quick with our zombie. And name this object jumper. Okay. So I'm just going to add a create event in our code. And uh, I'm a little bit rusty since I've been mostly working with XNA and C Sharp. Uh, and please forgive me if I forget anything basic or have to go over this several times. So uh, let me just think for a second before I do this. Okay, so there's a couple things we need to get uh, settled. First is rotation speed. Rotation speed. And this is basically going to be how fast the body part is going to rotate. So, uh, we have to set a threshold actually. Hmm. 
I don't really know what's a good threshold. I'll just say 10. 10 plus random. Uh, negative. No. Actually, I should say negative 10 plus random. Dang, this is hard. Okay, actually, negative. I can't think of what I'm trying to do. Negative 15 plus random 30. Okay, so that should increment by 15 either way. So negative is spinning uh, clockwise. Yeah, clockwise. And positive is spinning counterclockwise. Okay. And then we will also want to set rotation friction. This is going to be like basically the acceleration. Uh, of it, but it's going to be uh, taking away instead of adding. And I'm just going to make this like 0 0.03. We'll have to just play around with this to see what works. And uh, we want to set its direction. Direction equals random 360 degrees. And what we could also do is have them sort of go slightly towards wherever the bullet hit so it doesn't just splatter in all directions it sort of uh, ha goes in the direction where the bullet uh, exited I don't know it might just add another cool effect there and we want to set the real friction Actually, we want to set speed first equal to uh, again I don't really know 3 plus random friction equals 0 0.03 okay so I think we're good for now okay and do we have our surfaces set up correctly I think so so I'm gonna add a step event and collision collision with wall when it collides with the wall it's just gonna bounce so Where's that bounce thing? Okay, uh, not pre precisely. Okay, that's fine. Now we just have to add some code to our step event. Okay, its image angle is going to increment by the rotation speed and rotation speed is going to decrement by, if that's a word, uh, rotation fric friction. Oh yeah, just something I want to point out. Sorry, I'm getting sort of off topic here, but I've been noticing a lot of you've been s messaging me, uh, messaging, messaging me uh, your Arab error messages or making comments like oh, this doesn't work here's my error message what's wrong I don't see what's wrong I can't figure it out your code is bad and stuff like that and uh, I've been looking through most of it and most of the problems you have are uh, just getting the variable names wrong so if you like typos so you would name rotation speed here and you would name rotation speed there something like that and that's the majority of your problems and that's why it's not working is because you're using two different variables and if you're decrementing an unexisting variable it's not going to work and it's going to give you an error so uh, if you have a problem just double check yourself that you your uh, variables are all the same and if you want to make double sure that it's the same just go ahead copy the variable and paste it wherever you're using it and if it doesn't work then maybe something else is wrong but just please go ahead and check it yourself before you come to me. Um, okay, moving on. Okay, we got the spinning correct, and we got the speed, friction, and let's just, uh, why don't we go test this out? Actually, you know what? I forgot one thing. Uh, what I should have done was something else. I should have just done one thing, one sprite. So. Go ahead and go to one of your sprites and say sprite uh, zombie zombie parts. And I'm just going to copy all of these. 
and uh, just press use maximal size just so we are not missing any of the parts and actually I'm going to redo the head again because I'm not happy the way I did it well if you did it correctly then you don't have to redo it but I'm just going to redo it use maximal size okay and I'm just going to erase some of the arm parts okay and then uh, to add another little effect what you might want to do is colorize this to red more of a red just to uh, make it look a little bit more bloody and gory and I don't know you can edit this a little bit more I think I'm going to just edit it a little bit. Just make it a little darker and redder. Okay, so you should have a string of images like that. Go to your object thing, and uh, we want to make the image wherever it is. Actually, you know what? Yeah, my back. Dang it. Actually, you know what? Let's save on that. We can set it when we uh, set the jumper. But uh, I'm going to wrap it up this tutorial because I'm running out of time. It's already 11 minutes. And yeah, so, and we'll continue this on the next tutorial. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Please give a thumbs up, subscribe, do all that stuff. And thank you.